Brian passionately criticizes the Sussexes, labeling them ignorant and insulting to rural farmers. He highlights that the Harkles lack university degrees, pointing out the lack of interest in their recent event in New York City. It appears that the Harkles were essentially paid to host a session and control a microphone, with their involvement announced as a last-minute addition. The media made a point of emphasizing the presence of an excessive security detail, with seven cars escorting them around, even though fewer than a dozen paparazzi were chasing them on nearly empty streets. Megan's outfit, resembling a straight jacket, didn't go unnoticed, and she referred to Harry as this one, perhaps a sign of forgetfulness or hesitation to call him what she might in private. Regarding their appearance at the Project Healthy Minds event, it seems to have served as a platform for the Harkles to network and have their pictures taken. By paying for the stage, they gained access to microphones, allowing them to deliver a word salad style speech we've heard many times before. A short clip from Harry's speech at the summit unveiled their condescending attitude toward rural farmers. Harry's statement about Ryan, a chicken farmer, raised eyebrows as he mentioned ostrich boots and living in a remote area, implying a lack of internet knowledge. In reality, Ryan and Rachel Rods operate a family poultry farm on Maryland's eastern shore, producing hundreds of thousands of broilers annually and growing crops on their land. Ryan holds a B.S. in general agriculture, and Rachel holds a B.S. in poultry science and an M.S. in environmental policy. Their education and practical experience dwarf Harry's. Harry's assumption that rural living equates to lower intelligence and education is met with embarrassment. He implies that Harry doesn't understand that anyone with internet access can access the same information and engage in online work, regardless of their location. Ryan likely possesses more practical and business knowledge and, ironically, might have more liquid assets than Harry. Harry's disparaging attitude towards those who work is evident, and he chooses to insult working-class individuals, which is a stark departure from his past character. Meghan's laughter during this offensive remark further reflects the couple's unlikable image. Ryan's scathing critique concludes with a plea for the Sussexes to educate themselves for a considerable period until they can discuss matters of substance. He advises them to stop trying so hard to be liked and to cease exploiting those less fortunate for their own gain. With their commercial relationships dwindling, he suggests that the Sussexes might need to come back years later and apologize for their arrogance.